The 2010 season is in the books and the Ohio State Buckeyes are bowl bound. This year the Bucks will head to the Big Easy to face the Arkansas Razorbacks and head coach Jim Tressel and his team know that this game will be anything but easy considering that the Buckeyes are 0-9 against SEC teams in bowl games. You know the thing we've got to do is really focus in on what it's going to take to play Arkansas who we didn't play in any bowl games in our history um, and you know not get too caught up in uh, you know irrelevant things but on the other hand you do like to accomplish things and um, you know, a, a great performance in a bowl game the magnitude of this against a team you know, who's very, very good and happens to be in a very, very good conference, of course, you use that as a tremendous goal. Ohio State's offense will be facing a Razorbacks defense that has gotten better over the years. This season, they finished in the SEC first in sacks, but their rush defense remains to be seen. Regardless, Terrell Pryor, who finished the season with 2,551 yards and 25 touchdowns, will have to be spot on, on the ground, or in the air. You know, defensively, they're going to they're gonna play base defense and play zone, but they're also going to zone blitz you and going to come after you and play some man, not unlike most everyone. They're definitely a good bunch on defense. Uh, those guys are flying around trying to make big plays. Uh, up front, they got a uh, big, strong guys who's uh, quick. Uh, they're moving around. You know, they, uh, they at the defensive scheme, uh, they definitely line up in different ways to try to you know, try to confuse offenses. And I feel they do a great job at it. Ohio State's defense will be tested by Arkansas quarterback Ryan Mallett, who used to sport the maize and blue. Mallett played 11 games for the Wolverines before he transferred, and he is by no means a mobile quarterback. This bodes well for the Silver Bullets, who are ranked first in the Big Ten in passing defense. On the offensive side, that quarterback, Ryan, has got, uh, you know, he got a lightning quick release. He spins the ball as well as anyone, you know, we've seen. Um, he's got great weapons to go with him. Um, but I just think the quickness of their football team, they are a quick, tough football team. On the flip side of Mallet being a less than mobile quarterback, he has plenty of targets to choose from. There are five Razorbacks with at least 500 yards receiving this season and six that have scored four touchdowns. They are the only team to accomplish that this year. Go in there with just one thought because they'll figure it out and they'll adjust and they'll, they'll scald you pretty good. So you better, you know, in my mind, have a lot of different things ready to go and then get in the midst of that chess match and, and What's fun about games is some games you're out there and you're always a step ahead of them. And then there's other games that, man, it seems like that they're always a step ahead of us. Um, and so, you know, and that's, that's football. I think it's impressive. That shows, you know, the coach's desire to throw the ball. Uh, we talk about it. Uh, coach Fickle talks a lot about this team. They want to throw the ball, but they can run it as well. Um, that's impressive. You got guys that's, that's getting the ball. The quarterback's doing a good job of getting the ball out, not focusing on one guy. I know they had a great receiver in uh, Childs. I think he got hurt. Um, so that, you know, enabled him to, you know, spread the ball a little bit more um, away from that, you know, primary receiver he had in that guy. So I look forward to just the challenge that we have at hand. We got great cornerbacks, great safeties, and great linebackers. So we're going to do our job on the back end, and uh, hopefully our D-line do a great job of affecting the quarterback as well. You know, there's there's always that, uh, that you know, well, the press saying that, you know, we can't compete with these SEC teams, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel good, you know, to go and prove them wrong. Well, this game is playing out to be one of which defense will be able to slow down the opposing offense, and the Buckeyes are ready to rise to the challenge. You can catch the Scarlet and Gray in action Tuesday, January 4th at 8.30 on ABC. That's a wrap on the Scarlet and Gray preview. Until next time, I'm Ashley Agnelzi.